What did you kind of identify as the primary areas for improvement coming out of Nevada? Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's always a lot of them. Um, you know, we, we talked about several things. Um, you know, I, I felt like overall we, we did a lot of things pretty well, but um, let, them, let them wiggle off the hook a little bit. Um, you know, we jump offside and kind of relax on one play and they throw a long pass on us. So, the, I mean, those are things that we cover and should know, but sometimes you just need to review. Um, you know, we, we did a really good job for us. They fumbled the ball five times. I think we legitimately made them fumble four times and we got zero of them. And really, some of them we weren't going to get anyway. But, you know, there's probably there's probably one or two that we should have gotten and uh, didn't and for various reasons. So we're, you know, got to talk about just, you know, that's why you finish plays all the time, right? And you don't let off the gas because you just don't know what's going to happen. And we had guys let off the gas a little bit and got fumbled the ball and they got recovered it on the one yard line. So, you know, those are things. And then, uh, you know, so there, there's always things like that. But, um, um, you know, I'm not... Uh, you know, we're not really, you know, we got to correct the negative things or we got we to gotta fix the things that need fixing, but I'm, you know, we're, we're you know, being as positive as we can moving forward here. And, and uh, so I don't want the guys to keep feeling good about the direction of things because I certainly think it's, uh, it's, it's going in a, in a much better direction than some previous, previous experiences. Brian, you guys, I asked Lance this yesterday, you guys are ranked 21st in the country in total defense. And after three weeks, I don't know the last time we've seen that. Why is that? What have you guys done? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a lot better than 125th or whatever it was last year. So, and I know it's three weeks, and uh, we don't. I don't care who we played or didn't play. You know, you're we're we're playing guys on scholarship as well, and and so um, I, I just I, I attribute that to. Um, you know, I think guys are, are bought in. They're hungry for success. Um, you know, I think our our the, the quality of our practice shows that we've got. You know, we, we've had inexperience in the past. And we've got more experienced players right now who, who know better what we're doing and how we want it done. So uh, I think our, just our execution of things is a lot better. And um, we're, you know, we've preached for since the day we arrived here about, you know, uh, getting off the ball, owning the line of scrimmage, playing physical. And I, fe I feel like we're, you know, we're, we're starting to do that. Um, you know, one of those other things, and. I don't really pay a lot of attention to statistics. I just happened to catch one that we're the number one in the country in havoc rate on defense. So you, when you're talking about, you're putting all those things together, TFLs and sacks and interceptions and pass breakups and all those kind of things that, that create disruption, which is what we talk about a bunch also. We're, uh, we're number one in the country in that right now. So you know, we, gotta, we gotta keep going that direction. I think guys are seeing that the, the benefits of those kind of things. So. Um, yeah, so I, I, there's a number of things you can attribute it to. I, um, I don't attribute it to great coaching or better coaching somehow. I, just, uh, I, I attribute it to our players buying into things and uh, just growing up in our program. And then when you watch BYU, what do you see from them offensively? Yeah, I, I feel like they're way better than what their like statistics would show. Um, uh, they've got good looking players. Quarterback throws the ball really well. They got good length at receiver. Guys make guys make acrobatic kind of catches. Um, their offensive line looks big and strong to me. Um, uh, got some experience. I know they've got some transfers in there, but they've got experience playing at at Division One level. Um, I, at times, you know, they can they can get downhill in the run game. So uh, I feel like they just haven't. Um, like I said, I, I don't really know why they're they're not um, statistically better than they are. But I feel like they're as, probably as, as good of any offensive unit that we've played so far this year. So uh, I feel like it's going to take our best for sure. They're they're uh, they're an experienced, good-looking group of guys that um, um, they're they're for real. Obviously, every offense is different, but does what BYU tries to do on offense is it similar to any other team you've seen? In the yeah, it's similar to most of the teams that we've played. So I, I, they're not they're not um, necessarily. Um, trying to trick you with a lot of formations and can't get lined up kind of things. I think they kind of would probably like to know how you're lining up. So those things are, are pretty standard, but within within that they've got um, lots of plays to try to defend to give you some similar looks and, and motions and things like that. And then there'll, there'll be a two or three play sequence of, off of that, um, you know, uh, that'll, that'll test you. If, if we're not 
disciplined in our coverage with our technique and with our eyes and with our responsibilities, they'll make us look bad because they, they've got some they've got some difficult kind of high level pass game uh, stuff that we we really need to work and and again their their run game is is like like a lot of people inside and outside zone and counter that's kind of what they do and um, you know that's kind of what a lot of teams do so um, you know but it's you gotta you're gonna have to beat them at it because you know they said they're they're big and strong and, and they're gonna be physical and we've gotta we've gotta meet and exceed that level of, of physicality too. Saturday was one of the games where the starter Hayden didn't play until the final drive. How pleased have you been with the the depth that defense has been so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if we could have survived things like that, you know, over the last, in the past sometimes. Um, guys just step up and as I, as I knew they would, you know, really two of our top three defensive ends didn't play really, um, at least till the second half. So um, all the guys jumped in there and did a good job and, and felt like we, we didn't, we didn't lack in execution and we didn't lack really in production. So um, I think that's, that's a good confidence builder for those guys um, that they know they got to keep battling and keep competing and keep trying to improve, make one another better. Um, that's good confidence for me and us as a coaching staff also to know that, um, you know, we can, we don't have to, we don't have to abandon our plan because we don't have a guy. We can, we can insert and keep going forward. So that was, those are good things. I mean, obviously it's not a huge surprise at this point, but just what did you think of the performance of Kenny Logan making those big plays for you guys? Uh, yeah, I thought that was his probably his best, most productive game of the year. Um, you know, he's uh, he's been a, a really good player all year. He really has. Um, sometimes you just don't always, as a safety, you know, you're half on half the field a lot of times, so the ball might come your way, the ball might not. And uh, so he was certainly ready this game, it's, and he's been a – He's really improved his practice habits. Um, he's really, he's just really uh, taken a step forward in maturity and and just um, you know leadership, not just through words but through action. And uh, he's starting to see that. Um, I, I think that's it's starting to produce results on the field also. But um, you know, I, I don't know like that last fourth down tackle that he made. He just he's just confident enough and knows what's going on and knows that's his man and he's just going. You know and. I don't know. Some guys would have like hesitated to pull the trigger like that, and we would have got that tackle for loss. And that's why I was kind of glad that he was the guy doing it. And you know, when he gets a beat on something, he's he's really uh, he could really be effective. So I'm I'm happy for him, and he's really playing well. And I think he's he's feeling good about himself, and and I feel good about him. Have you been, ever been in a situation before where one of your defensive players has a brother who's going to be on the offense? Or the other <laughs> no, uh, no, I don't think so. Not like that. Um, I, I didn't. I wasn't even fully aware until a couple of days ago that was that was his brother. I said I don't know how many Lasseter families are around the world, but um, it's kind of odd. But uh, uh, then I, I guess I did. I kind of put it together after a while. So uh, I talked to him about that, and, and I think he's looking forward to you know a potential matchup. And I kind of asked him what his weaknesses were, so he thinks he's got some things on him, and you know probably the other way around as well. But uh, um, yeah, that'll be that'll be fun, and that'll be. It'll probably be competitive if they ever get out there together. That'll be, that'll be something. Anyone else? Coach Pete?